What is up guys? Thank you for clicking that thumbnail and checking this video out. Today we're going to be talking about hobbies and how to find the one that is just right for you. Let's do it. So it's almost been a whole year of quarantine, which is crazy. Um, and people have been breaking bread, making art, doing TikTok dances. But if you haven't figured out a hobby to try yet, then uh, it's not too late. And hopefully this video will help you out. So this first hobby finding tip is kind of an uncomfortable one, but it's taken from this idea of a blue flame, which is this concept by Jennifer Fulweiler, who's a comedian and a radio host. A blue flame is your sort of like what you were put on the earth to do. You're passionate about it. It gives you energy and, and it just feels right. Like when you're doing it, you're like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, so that's the blue flame. And so one idea she has for finding your blue flame is you look at the people around you and you see if basically anything they're doing is making you low key jealous. That, that might be a hint that you kind of want to do that yourself or you want to try that. The idea of your jealousy pointing to something you desire to be doing is also connected to this idea of the shadow artist, which is a concept Julia Cameron came up with. She wrote The Artist's Way. A shadow artist is someone who surrounds themselves with artists, but, but they aren't doing the thing. It, it just might be a hint that like you're surrounding yourself with these people because that's something you also want to do. If you're like, all your buddies are filmmakers and you're like, I kind of want to give it a shot, but I'm nervous. Like, do it. Slim chance. Somebody's like, what was that? You know, and if they do, like, are they your friends? Like, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> the point is, if you're surrounded by people that are doing things that you kind of want to do and you realize that, then go ahead and try it. That, that might be your hobby. Tip number two, just to keep in mind, is that everyone starts out bad. Don't be nervous about starting and it being bad and don't be nervous about continuing because when you start, it is bad. I don't remember the YouTuber's name, but I saw this YouTuber and he talked about this in a really interesting way, which is that like Shakespeare at one point in his life had never written a word. Aretha Franklin, at one point in her life, she hadn't sung a single note. Anyway, everybody starts out bad, so don't let that deter you from starting or continuing if it's something you care about and that makes you happy. Third thing, don't let your hobby become this super pressured thing. We live in an age where if somebody does art or if they do music, they probably have an Instagram, <laughs> they probably have a TikTok, they have all this stuff, and they might even be making money off of it. And this happens to me, I get in this mindset where it's like, okay, I like doing this thing, but is it really worth it if I'm not making any money off of it or if I'm not getting like the traction other people are getting? And that's just not, I don't think that's the point of hobbies or activities in general. I don't think it should be the point. Money and fame. I know. Uh, hobbies, in my opinion, and this is taken from the blue flame idea, it should give you energy. It should make you feel good. It will be hard, but make you feel like you're doing something good. And hobbies should make you happy. They should bring you joy. Don't let the pressure of like, oh, but nobody's buying my stuff on Etsy. Don't let that get to you. I mean, <laughs> if that's your hustle, go for it. But don't feel the need to generate revenue or clout out of the hobby. And if none of that helped you figure out a hobby that you'd like to try, I do have three random ideas. The first one is Ukrainian egg dyeing. I believe it's also called Pusinka. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's really cool, my dad does this. It's like the adult version of Easter egg dyeing. It's fun, it's cool. I don't know that many people who are doing it, so go crazy. Second random hobby tip is roller skating. My fiance and her sisters have been doing this and it looks really fun. Another hobby idea actually that Emma is trying is photography. You can check out her stuff and I mean, it looks incredible. Like that's, that's the amazing thing to me about it. Like, yes, everybody starts out bad. But also you can surprise yourself. You can start out and you're gonna be like, like, her stuff looks great. And I'm sure your stuff will look great. Like that's probably the most important takeaway from this video is just start. Like, that's, that's it. Like just, just do it. Just do whatever it is. Like if you're doing photography on your phone, like we all have cameras now, like just take one picture and I, I would like to see your stuff. So like hit me up on Insta or whatever. And I, I'd be like, I'm ex I'd be excited to see that. Third random hobby tip is this web app called Drive and Listen, which I think 
blew up because of TikTok. I could be wrong. You hop in a car and you drive around and listen to local music if you want or your own music and it's cool it's like i think it's a fun pastime different you can see the world it's like traveling but you know we can't travel right now really so it's the workaround hobby traveling hobby from the couch well i hope that helped you guys figure out something new to try with any free time you might have i'd like to thank nathan hyun for uh what's the word for requesting this video. If you guys have anything you'd like to hear our takes on, like, please drop a comment. I want to make content that is valuable to you, so, so let us know. But thank you to him and Nathan. I hope you have some new hobby ideas now. Final recommendation is you can also look on Trojan360.com and there are tons of ideas for, for stuff you can do if you're looking for more hobbies. I would actually recommend it just came out by Claire Wong. It's an article on how to make boba at home for under $2, which like, who doesn't love boba? So yeah, check that out if you're interested or anything else on there. Super helpful stuff. And yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you found this helpful. If you'd like to subscribe and comment below, seriously, anything you want to hear about, we'd appreciate that. And so thank you again. Take care of yourself. Peace, fight on.